Hey everyone, welcome in. This is Love Goddess Tarot. My name is Maureen and in today's Pick a Card Love Reading, I'm going to get you love messages. What do you need to know right now about love? This is for singles. It could be for couples. You can modify it to whoever, you know, if you're wondering if you've been in a relationship, will it work? If you haven't had a relationship, when's one coming? I just wanted to get as much information and see what comes through. Okay, now, before we get started, I have an exciting announcement for everyone. I have been asked quite a bit to do private readings and I open up time slot slots periodically when I have time to do private readings. And this month, on the 24th to the 25th, I'm opening up 24 hours to book your appointment with me, your own private session. Um, it's in honor of Libra season. You know who your favorite Libra is. So I thought I would do it because Libra season kicks off um, on the 23rd and on the 24th to the 25th, you can book your reading. The way it works is you will make your payment um, between the 24th and the 25th. Uh, I have that just that 24 hours so that I can limit it and be as fair as possible to as many people as possible. Um, you'll get an email confirming everything and you'll get your reading a video recording of approximately 20 minutes to 30 minutes um, via a private link. So you'll ask one love question. You'll send me as much detail as you want. You can also include your birthday time and place if you'd like me to include a little mini astrology reading in there as well. Um, and so I'm super excited. So that's my Libra season big announcement. Um, and I hope you'll be able to get your reading if you want one. Again, check the community tab. You can email me also. Um, the email address is below if you'd like details. Okay, guys. So here we go. Group number one, you have the green heart and the high priestess card. Group number two, you have the pink striped heart and the wheel of fortune and group number three you have the rose quartz heart and the unknown card and group four you have the yellow heart and the fool card so take a moment see what you're drawn to you can pause the video if you want or you can actually listen to as many um, you could listen to two if you're drawn to two or listen to three listen to all four there are no rules okay whatever messages are meant for you will come to you i'm so excited to see what love messages we have today one two three four timestamps will be below you can skip ahead if you'd like hey group number one you picked the green heart and the high priestess and the high priestess is really someone who's very very wise who um, uses her intuition and her knowledge all of the things that she studied both like spiritually and practically um, and kind of brings it all together i really love the high priestess because she's such a powerful woman she's such a powerful powerful presence um, just a balanced energy. So that's what you were drawn to. You were drawn to someone who um, is just exhibiting this and this can be you as well. And so what I'm feeling right now is um, well, the person that you're seeking or the relationship that you're in has to be something that's balanced that has both like the physical attraction as well as like the connection the emotional depth the spiritual connection but let's see what comes up for you today my high priestess um, first we're going to start with your tarot and let's see what information what love information you are going to get today Right off the bat, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, okay, let's move that over, and the Moon reversed, okay. Um, let's get some confirmation, okay, we have the Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, lots of Earth energy coming through for you. Wow, and the Nine of Pentacles, yes, I would say definitely a lot of Earth energy. Okay, so let's take a moment. Um, I'm going to start here for you guys. Um, this is really kind of talking about um, kind of the past situation in terms of your love. 
um, for both my singles and couples. And so what we see here with the Three of Pentacles is like a desire to really build something. A desire to work with a partner and really grow something, okay? Um, but what I feel like with the chariot here in reverse is for you in the past, whether it's in a past relationship or in this relationship in the past, there was an imbalance, okay? Because it, you didn't feel like you were in control. The chariot card is all about taking control control and knowing that um, you're in charge and you've got this, okay? It might be like you've got two kind of different things going on or something pulling you in different directions, but you have it. Um, but what I'm seeing here in the past for you in terms of love is that there was some sort of imbalance, okay? Um, and then when I look at the present here, I see you know, again, more of this kind of juggling, more of this balancing, um, and here it's now really, really strong in terms of work. We're, whenever we look at the pentacles, we're thinking earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's coming through very strong in your reading. Just overall, number one, you're getting a lot of earth energy um, messages, whether that's people coming in or that could be a person you're in a relationship with. Um, but there's a lot of struggle, a lot of juggling, a lot of... Um, Maybe you have a hard time juggling relationship and work um, and family. And there's a very strong family element here with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is really about wanting to be solid and secure, um, having the support of family, either financially as well as like just their support. Um, so I feel like for you, there might be, if you're in a relationship, there might have been some back and forth about your partner and maybe your family wasn't that supportive um, and that was hard for you because you really have to kind of balance those two, your own feelings, but also the feelings of your family. Um, for those of you that aren't in a relationship for the singles, um, this is really about balancing um, love, work, relationship, family, um, all of those things are important to you. And I feel like the person that comes in has to share your values, has to share your family's values. Um, tradition is important to you as well. Okay, so for the future, what I see is um, this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy, which is you feeling very, very secure, very comfortable financially, um, being very successful. And in terms of your relationship, I feel like there's something that you have to let go of. Um, for those of you that are in a relationship or on a, a break from a relationship, you had some fears, you had some doubts, you didn't feel supported, but there is something that you are in the process of letting go of some fear that's holding you back from your relationship and I do feel like that's going to be resolved okay so if you're broken up or if you are in a relationship right now and you're like hey I I just you know I'm not sure about that that, that this is going to work um, because of my family because of like whatever the reasons are that are holding you back I would say you have a really positive final outcome okay for your relationship the message is very positive for you um, and for singles it's very positive as well um, and you're really being told to let go of your fears okay to let go of the control piece to let go of your fears because you're in a very solid secure place and the person is coming okay and there's so much earth energy here you guys um let's see what details we can get with the oracle cards um first let's do singles let's see who this person is coming in Ooh, chameleon spirit, act as if, number 14. And eagle spirit, spirit has your back, number 23. Um, the person coming in is somebody um, who is, I think, different than your general type. I think that you have a perception. When you first meet, you're going to see this person um, and think that they are different than they really are, okay? You know how sometimes you meet someone and you're like, oh, you know, <laughs> that guy is, you know, a player, and he's not, okay? So I do feel like there's there's some sort of change in perspective that you're going to have after you meet this person, and, um, and, and this is kind of 
something that you're going to have to have a bigger perspective. You're going to have to pull back a little in order to really get the picture and understand who this person is. And there is a real spiritual connection here. I am getting a lot of Scorpio energy coming through as well um, for this person. So there's that earth sign and that Scorpio spirit. So I kind of feel like um, with the moon card reversed, there is a perception that is going to change from what you're thinking when you first meet them, okay? Um, now, for the couples, um, your your perspective of this person has really changed, and um, you have had to kind of see the bigger picture, and you've had to pull back a little because you do have very sort of solid structure and um, ideas because of your family, because of your traditional background, and um, this person has kind of changed your perspective on things. Um, but I do think you guys could help each other in terms of like a business or like there's something that you can do together. And I do see a lot for both singles and couples, a lot of financial prosperity. OK, this is a relationship that is really solid. Like this is a relationship where you could really grow a lot and grow together. OK. I want to see what potential blocks you have for this energy coming in, number one, or for your relationship if you're already in one. Oh, there it is. Look at that, you guys. And look at all this green. And I mean, I'm just so struck by how much earth energy is coming through. The Taurus Virgo Capricorn stuff is coming through so strong. Um, and you have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers, you guys. Um, which is totally going back to the moon reversed, okay? Um, and look at all, I mean, I just, I cannot get over all of the green and brown, all of these earth colors coming through. Um, yeah, so this is, this is confirmation that the message, a big love message, whether you're in a relationship or if you're single, is to let go of the doubt. You have a lot of doubts and fears that are holding you back. Um, that's the biggest block for you right now with the love relationship. Um, and the universe wants you to know that you need to release that, okay? Um, you don't have to know it all. And what's funny is because you um, pulled the high priestess, there's a big part of you that thinks you should, that you should know it. And you should, um, you know, trust, every, you know, like anything is a sign. And I believe that too. But your strong message here is that... Um, you've got to release something in this negative neg negative energy or this um, fears because everything around your reading and around your love is so solid. It's so solid. Like the nine of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles. This is hardcore, long-term solid stuff. Um, now, what's funny is you pick the high priestess, but also the green heart. And here we have all this green and brown and earth energy. Ooh, I love it. I love how this worked out. Um, Let's get, let's do an Aphrodite. Yes, of course. Let's pull, these are my cards. The Aphrodite Love Oracle, I designed them. Um, Aphrodite is my goddess. And of course, because I'm the love goddess. Let's see what Aphrodite has to say about your relationship, number one. Ooh, you got two. Um, you have Sparrow. I love this. Wait a minute. This is, I'm like getting so excited. Sparrow, Aphrodite's bird, guiding, direction, movement, leadership. Number 44, you're on the right path. And you got chocolate, Aphrodite's food, rich, indulgent, delicious, fantasy. Number 26, your love life is getting an upgrade. Um, with the nine of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles, I mean, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of upgrade. That's a lot of like indulgent stuff. Um, that's rich. That's rich. Sorry, I hate to say it. I mean, but you know, there's nothing wrong with financial um, security. You know, a lot of times people in the spiritual community think being spiritual means being broke. No, it doesn't. You <laughs> absolutely. Um, money is important. Now, what I'm totally loving about this is um, the sparrows are the birds that 
um, guided Aphrodite's chariot, okay? And so here you have your chariot card and you've had it reversed and it's about taking control of your life um, and knowing that you are on the right path. In the past, you felt like you weren't, um, you know, you weren't building the things that you needed to or you weren't in a fair partnership, um, but you are on the right path. And so that's your message for today. You are moving in the right direction. You need to release the doubt. Wow, that's a huge one, you guys. Okay, let's pull the Romance Angel. And look at this. Oh, my gosh. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yes, I would say so. You've gotten an entire reading of pentacle energy of work of finances of money um so this has been a big this is a really strong message for you that this is part of what's going on for those of you who are single maybe that's a big part of it is you know you have an idea of who you want to be with and that person has to be a certain level of success which is fine um maybe you have doubts about the person you're with and don't feel like they're going to come through for you or they're not going to work as hard or they're not going to build that life. But remember your message. You've got to let go of the doubt. You don't need to know right now, okay? It's going to work itself out. That couldn't be any clearer right now. I feel like we need one of these cards. Okay, these are beautiful soul messages. And I want to get one for both you guys, my singles and couples, because... Um, whether you're single or you're in a relationship right now, you're both getting similar messages. And this is both, um, there's a lot of work stuff. There's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of family stuff around this. Um, okay, you've got mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Wow. This is your message for today about your love situation. Um, and that's so interesting because I feel like for some of you, sorry, my phone is going off. If it goes off again, I'll pause the video. If not, I'm going to keep going. Um, who or what is triggering you? Um, you know, you did get that moon reversed and you had that two of pentacles. Like, is there someone around you that's is giving you doubts about love or doubts about yourself um, or if you're in a relationship, doubts about your partner that isn't you? These, that someone outside of yourself is making you doubt yourself? Or if you're in a relationship, um, is the person you're in a relationship triggering you about something within yourself, okay? So that is your message, you guys. Really think hard about that, um, you know, because only you can answer that. Uh, please write your comments below if this is you and you know what it is, um, because this is such a strong message about financial stuff, about money, about work, um, and love. I would say today that is your message, okay? Now, oof. That was heavy. Let's um, roll the Astro Dice, and we're going to see what Zodiac signs specifically come through. This is for singles and couples. This can be you, your partner, the future partner, also just things we need to know today. Okay, so there we go. Oh, gosh. If that isn't it, pentacle energy and earth energy, coin energy, Capricorn, hard work, lots of work, work, work. And Capricorn also, you guys, is um, totally the Ten of Pentacles. That family business, somebody who maybe is involved with their family in business or has um, inherited money or um, is just part of a very powerful family. So we got Capricorn, you guys, like the head of a company, a CEO. Um, okay, we got Taurus. Okay, so so far we have... Two earth energies. Okay, let's go for number three. And Aquarius. Okay, guys. So those are the signs. Now, let me pull you some channeled messages. Okay, these channeled messages are for you. Okay, so these are your messages up from the universe about um, just what you need to focus on for yourself, for love, just in general. Okay, number one. So... You have healing foods, okay? So one of the things that you need to focus on is um, taking care of yourself, eating good foods, um, 
You have messages about health. Um, you also have daily gratitude journal, um, taking time to really write down the things that you're really grateful for. And one more yoga. Okay, so these are the three things that could help you in terms of um, manifesting love in improving love if you're having issues with your love or your relationship and for singles things that can help you bring love in okay and finally you guys i'm going to do a charm reading so turn the volume down if the loud noise bothers you okay here we go Let's see what you've got. Right over here, we have Leo the Lion. So that's Leo energy coming through. Um, you have the Flamingo. And I think somebody said they mate for life. Um, so that's really interesting because we are talking about love. Um, that can also be Florida. Um, and um, maybe there's something about flamingos that means something for you as well. Um, we got the deer. And for me, this is about like being stopped in your track, seeing someone and just being like, wow. So I think that if you're a couple and you know who this person is, that's how you felt or how they feel. It can also be that you're at this standstill. You're at this like frozen point where neither of you is making a move. Okay. Um, and for singles, it could be as simple as camping, but it can also be that sort of wow, like love at first sight kind of thing. We do have the anchor, which is that wanting to anchor, wanting to be committed to someone um, you do have the 90 CD player. So this can be someone from your childhood, someone from the past, somebody who can, who is like a friend or someone who connects to a time when things were more innocent. Um, it's also about just having fun and being playful. Um, we have the butterfly of transformation, um, and you also got play it safe, which I love with all this pinnacle energy. I have a feeling that you are definitely someone who likes to play it safe. Um, and you got all these beautiful, I love this charm because it has brave, peace, true, um, strong, happy, thankful, kind, compassionate. Um, again, really going back towards like um, gratitude journal and things that you're grateful to. So, um, but also this can symbolize the person in your relationship um, that's coming in. So I hope this helped you guys. This was your general message for today, um, for love. Um, I feel like this was just really powerful about taking care of yourself, um, about really um, knowing your value, knowing that money and finances and work is playing into your relationship story um, and letting go of some of those fears. Okay, guys, because this overall is a really beautiful reading for you. I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to like, comment, share, um, hit the notification bell. All of these things are really important and they really, really help me. Once you do subscribe, after you click the button, write your love question below. I do one free mini reading every month for one subscriber. And this month only, I'm opening up a 24-hour period to do personalized love readings. So check the community tab for details. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, number two, you picked the pink heart with the beautiful stripes on it, as well as the wheel of fortune. And the wheel of fortune is all about a change in fate, something movement, big movement, big change. Um, and when it's upright, it's something very, very positive. So you were attracted to change. You were attracted to movement. You were attracted to something positive coming into your life. Let's see what your reading for love is today. And this is, as I said, for singles and couples. I'm going to try and read it for both. I'm just bringing in as much information as I can um, so that I can really reach as many people as possible. Um, let's see what the universe wants you to know. What are your messages today about love? Okay, Ooh, the first one is the Three of Wands. There we go. We're going on a journey. We're making a plan. We're ready to move. Ooh, let's see what else we have here. Okay, we're letting go of some things with the Nine of Swords reversed. I like seeing that reversed. Um, 
And we have the Emperor. Ooh, we have some big, strong energy coming in. Could be Aries, Scorpio um, that we're talking about for singles and couples. Male energy, someone who's very much in control. Um, somebody who very much wants to control the um, the situation, <laughs> okay? The Emperor is in charge here of himself for sure. Okay, we have Temperance. And we have the Two of Wands. Okay, lots of Wands energy there for you. And we have Judgment. Okay, wow. You've got a lot of Major Arcana, and you chose a Major Arcana, which is really interesting. So I feel like you know, and you were drawn to the wheel of fortune card today because you've got like sort of major energy coming you're at a shift point you're kind of starting a new chapter um in your life um let's start here for you um so what I see with the Three of Wands is, you know, I love this card because I'm very much focused on her looking into this globe and sort of imagining a future and having a plan and being ready to step off onto her journey. Um, but I also see, you know, someone who's really balanced, somebody who's taking their time, somebody who um, really wants to weigh things out and be just very, very sort of careful and cautious, okay? So I'm getting like a little bit in the past for you guys, number two, that there's something about love that you've been cautioned about, something about this change or this shift um, that you're not sure about, okay? When we move to the present here, I see that you did have a lot of stress, a lot of things on your mind, a lot keeping you up at night, whether it's anxiety about love, about relationships, or just in general. Um, but with the reversal, I see that you're probably moving on from that. You're letting it go. You're moving towards healing, okay? Um, and here we have the two of wands. Um, and it's funny because we started with the three of wands and now we kind of went backwards a little bit to the two of wands because I feel like you had a plan, you were ready to go and you were like, mm, maybe not just yet. So for my singles out there, um, what I'm picking up on for you is that there there's, was a big change that you wanted to make, whether it was like getting out into the dating world or actually making a move or starting a new job or moving to a new location. Um, but you had fears and you had things that kind of held you back and you sort of wanted to wait and you weren't sure. For my couples, I feel like um, there, there was, there's definitely some stress around your relationship, around change, whether it's moving, whether it's your partner and you disagreeing about things, um, whether they want to move faster than you do. Um, but there's something, you know, for both you guys that it's like you've been in a place of um, kind of that stop and start, like you're not quite sure. You know that you need a change, but you're not quite ready to do it. Okay, so what I see future-wise for you guys is um, is this very strong male energy coming through. Could be Aries, could be Scorpio energy. Um, somebody who is very, very powerful um, and somebody who is really going to um, really want to take charge and take control. And that could be this big shift where you just kind of are like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't say no to this person. Um, but let's get some confirmation about this um, emperor situation for you, number two. Oops. Okay, Queen of Cups. Ten of Wands. Wow. Oh my gosh. The world after the Wheel of Fortune. Lots of major arcana here, you guys. Okay. What's coming through here is that um, for you, I feel like if you're a couple and you're in a relationship, there's something about your partner that feels overwhelming, something that they have maybe not listened to you or they didn't want to move at your pace. Um, there's something about this anxiety and this stress that's coming from this very strong, um, could be Scorpio or Aries male energy. Um, and I see you as very, very sensitive um, and just wanting help, wanting someone to, to help you get 
to your goals, to reach your goals, your dreams. Um, there's a lot of fire sign energy for you, um, as well as that water. But look at this, you end with the world and look at her, she's on top of the world. Um, she's at peace, she's about to really get there. Um, and I think that for um, singles, this is about you finding that true love, that relationship that's supportive, um, that person that is gonna really be there for you and give you the support that you need and the help that you need. That's what you're really looking for. You're looking for someone to help you on this journey, someone to help carry the load, someone who's going to share your feelings and not make you feel insecure. Um, and I think for couples, there you have been questioning the person that you're with um, and you or the person that you've broken up with and that you're thinking about. And I think the answer is you can, you know, you, you're going to have to make a change. You're going to have to really look at that relationship and say, um, is this person really giving me what I need? Because no matter what, you are going to make this change. You are going to either um, move on and find someone else and, and live your life the way you want to and be, you know, in charge of your own universe because the world card is a completion card. It's like this is coming no matter what. So it'll either come with them um, with you or not, but you're going to be just fine. This is a very positive card for an outcome. So I would say to couples, you are going to be just fine. Whether you decide that this person is going to help you and be with you along the journey um, you need to be realistic. The message for you in couples is be realistic. Is this person really giving you what you want? Is Are they who you need in your journey? If they're not, get rid of them because you are going to have a beautiful life. You have the whole world at your fingertips. There's a major change coming. There is. Um, and you just have to decide whether you're going to bring this person with you or not. Now for singles, there's a major change coming you are gonna find someone that's going to make you feel strong and good about yourself, help you on your journey, and you are about to have a major, major accomplishment. Okay, so that's your message, and which is very exciting for either way. Either way, you guys are going to be great, okay? Um, let's get some more information for you right now. I'm gonna pull um, an Aphrodite card first because I'm really curious about what Aphrodite, these are my cards. They are listed for sale below, the links below if you wanna purchase them. Um, let's see what, ooh, this one. Okay, you got candle, focus, Aphrodite's flame, hot, focus, clarity, drive, number 51. Focus on what you want right now. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I just said. Thank you, thank you. You guys need to focus. Today's message is so clear for me, you guys. Um, singles, couples, you, number twos, you need to focus, okay? You've got a dream, you've got a plan. Don't give up because of doubts, okay? You just need some, you need someone to be supportive of you. And um, you need to be realistic about what it is you need and want in love because you're about to have a major change, okay? And um, you're going to have that security that um, all that, all the love that you want, something very, very powerful is about to happen. This is a big shift time. A huge shift time for you. Um, let's see what the romance angels have to say. Number two. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, wow. Okay, and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So for my singles out there, have faith. You need to trust. You have a plan. You are someone who is going to do great things. You're about to have a major change in your life, and I do believe a new period and a new um, beginning in terms of love, a new chapter is going to happen. With my couples, you need to do a real evaluation and decide what it is you want. And if you want this person on your journey, be very, very realistic. Um, and figure that out because time is ticking and if it's not this person you're going to have someone who is going to be there for you and who is going to um, going to be that partner that you really want and the, the ball is really in your court Okay, that's coming through very strong. Lots of fire sign here. Leo, Sag, Aries, maybe that's your sign. If it is, please let me know below. I'd love to hear your stories. 
humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, with that nine of swords reversed, um, it, it's like the universe wants you to lighten up, wants you to know that things are going to change, wants you to know that soon you're going to be sitting like this beautiful, um, this beautiful person on top of the world and on top of the lotus. Look at her. This is good. This is you. That's your outcome card. Um, and acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Wow, beautiful, you guys. Um, that's a biggie. That's a big message for you. It's it's a big message for everyone. You know, accepting the things we can't change is probably um, one of the most important lessons that we have. Okay, for my singles, let's get some clues about this person. Let's see who's coming. Oh, I love dog spirit. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Number 19. Okay, this is this is that energy of someone who's reliable, someone who's there for you, somebody who's really, really loyal. Um, we also have koi fish spirit. There is always enough. And that's about that faith and trust and knowing that whether you're single or a couple, that the universe is going to provide for you, that there is this beautiful energy out there of love. You're about to start a really huge cycle. You're going to get there, okay? It's like the Ten of um, Wands is like you're almost there. It's carrying up the hill and it's like the message is don't give up. Okay, you're almost there. So the message is definitely don't give up. Okay, I'm going to pull you one of the soul cards. Let's see what you need to know today. What is your beautiful soul message? Number two. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Oh my gosh, I love it. Today is a great day. These readings are beautiful. Where's my world card? Here you are. Look at this. Such confirmation, you guys. Um, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. You have Wheel of Fortune, which is all about you making this major, major um, shift. This, this is a faded moment for you, okay? I want you to know that right now you are about to cross the threshold from this cave into that, and that's you at the other side. There you are. Okay, whether you're single, whether you're separated, whether you're a couple, this is coming and I want you to receive this. This is such a powerful message of you crossing over. The wheel of fate is changing and this is faded. This is a faded moment for the positive. Okay, I have goosebumps. This is so big. Wow, exciting. Um, I'm going to pull. These are channeled messages just for you, soul messages, um, what you need to hear right now, how you need to care for yourself, what message do you need? Okay, dance. Okay, there you go. That's having fun. That's being playful. That's letting go of the seriousness and knowing that this is a faded moment and that trusting in it. Good deed. Aww. I feel like you do good deeds and you're going to be rewarded. And I feel like the universe wants you to know that. Okay. I'm getting that feeling from you right now and a healing circle. Okay. This would be a really good idea for you. If you're feeling like, you know what, you need to strengthen yourself. You've almost crossed the finish line. You're so close to something, whether it's love, whether it's, a, you know, something you're working on a project, um, whether you're in the process of getting divorced and you're almost there, whether you're in a relationship and you're going to decide you're, you guys are moving forward to get married to commitment. Um, try a healing circle. Try reaching out and connecting, yoga, um, doing some meditation, doing some self-healing work, okay? Because you just need, you need a little bit of strength, but you're almost there. Now I'm going to roll the astro dice, see what other signs come up for my singles, as well as couples, just to kind of get some zodiac information. Okay, we have Gemini. Ooh, there's the Scorpio energy. 
and Taurus. Wow, Scorpio and Taurus again. I got them in the last reading. Um, now I'm going to do a charm reading for you. So turn the volume down if you don't like the noise because it can be a little loud. Wow, so you got my biggie. This doesn't come out very often. This was an amazing surprise, uh, a present from um, a relative, an aunt. So this can be a message for you from the other side if you have an aunt or a close relative or someone um, that that means something to you. Um, but this is a very special charm, and um, this is amazing that it came up with the Wheel of Fortune in the world. This is a big moment, and I think that that charm is just saying something amazing is coming. Um, you're getting a gift from the universe, an unexpected gift, okay, a surprise. Um, you have the dream catcher, um, which is interesting because if I look at the Wheel of Fortune and I look at the dream catcher, I see that wheel. Look at, look, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. That looks just like this. Wow, that's a beautiful confirmation of the Wheel of Fate. Um, this is a faded moment. Your luck is about to change. If you've had bad luck in love, I'm telling you, you've got a good reading here because look what else you got. Whoa, with the Wheel of Fortune, you got the Shamrock of Good Luck. And you got, look at this soulmate energy. I love you forever and the infinity symbol. Um, you have the beautiful Aphrodite charm of true romance, of true love. You have this gorgeous tree of life, of growing something, something big happening. You also have the missing puzzle piece, the best friend, the person that fits you perfectly. And you have this gorgeous princess charm, which is someone treating you so like royalty, someone who really adores you. Wow, congratulations. This is a beautiful charm reading. I am so happy and excited to hear what this moment, this faded moment, this big change in fortune um, and your new world is going to be all about. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, um, share. That is so important. It helps so much. It's all free. It's just a click of a button. Also, once you subscribe, you can write your love question below and enter in to win a free mini love reading. I do one a month, every month. And this month's winner is Vicky. Congratulations, Vicky. And this month, in honor of Libra season, yay, I'm a Libra. Gotta love me. And, um, I'm doing, I'm opening up 24 hours to accept payments for personal love reading so i can do your personal love reading um very exciting all the details are on the community page if you're interested in having it done or you can always email me for details the email is linked below thank you so much guys i'm sending you so much love feel this feel this amazing powerful change coming and know that you're supported i'll talk to you soon bye guys hey number three you picked the rose quartz and the unknown card. I love this card. This is unique to the Crystal Visions deck. Um, and it's so cool because, you know, obviously we read tarot because we want answers. But sometimes, you know, the answers are not for us to have. And so you've chosen and been drawn to the unknown card. So there's something mysterious, something mysterious about this reading. Um, we're going to find out. So this is for couples and singles. Let's see what information we can find about love. We're going to start with the tarot deck. And then I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you and some very special channeled messages today that are just for you, about you and taking care of you and also attracting the love that you want in your life. Okay, so it's a special reading today. I'm really enjoying it. Um, let's see, number three. What are the mysterious messages for love for you? Okay, wow, beautiful. Doesn't this look mysterious? I love this card. The Eight of Cups. Um, she's leaving. She's heading out. She knows that something's missing, and she's going to find it. She's going to find something unknown or maybe known. Let's find out. I'm liking how this is going. <gasps> look at that, you guys. you got the Star card. Ooh, beautiful. 
and the five of cups Ooh, are you a water sign a cancer scorpio pisces or just a very sensitive person maybe an aquarius um please let me know oh this is really beautiful okay we got the page under there of pentacles the sun card reversed under the star and the hermit oh my gosh you guys oh this is really interesting so i see with all of this a lot of loss a lot of sorrow and a lot of healing too okay um and i do feel some leo energy as well as that so much water sign energy um or just a very emotional and sensitive um leo um but here's what I'm going to start. So what I'm feeling like is maybe in the past you felt very disappointed by or um, someone let you down who was like this younger, maybe earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or just that vibe. Um, somebody who worked really hard, somebody who seemed like they um, were loyal and did all the right things. And I don't see like a huge betrayal here. It's not coming through. Maybe it was, but um, but also just kind of in general disappointment um, and real sadness. And it's, I mean, I'm even feeling like depression and then maybe this healing um, energy coming through as well. So there was some deep sadness Um surrounding you this this reading today um a surrounding love whether you're single or a couple um and with the five of cups it feels like there was some loss you know there is this beautiful two of cups still there but there's you know whether it's loss of family loss in relationship there was some loss okay and i feel like for many of you you've now become the hermit you've gone within you're seeking the answers you're seeking um your strength you're kind of pulling back um because you know what with the hermit card that star card is right in there and here's the star card so you got the star card kind of twice okay because what happens with the hermit is the hermit gets all the realizes goes within and realizes all the answers with you you need are within you're carrying the star card right there and you have this star card here so I feel like you've been through the ringer number three I'm really getting the feeling emotionally you've been kind of on a roller coaster whether you're in a relationship or if you're single um, because of the lack of relationship and you're now sort of at this hermit stage um, and and because you've kind of pulled back you've really learned your lessons and you're like you know what um, I don't know what the what's coming which is probably why you chose the unknown card um, I really don't know what's coming <laughs> because I have been through quite a bit I have pulled myself up I have healed from so much um, Wow I want to get a little bit of confirmation about this Page of Pentacles energy from you. Number three. Oh, so there was betrayal. We've got the Three of Swords. So yeah, I think for a lot of you, you were, um, there might have been a third party. There might have been some betrayal in your past. Um, and the Ace of Cups reversed. Your love was, yes. Okay, good. So we do have something new coming through. Um, so for both of you, okay, I do feel like you've gotten very clear. We have the Ace of Swords. Swords are all about using your mind and it's under that Hermit card and under that Five of Cups. So congratulations. And I mean this with all my heart. You've been through a lot, number three, um, emotionally, whether it's relationships or life in general, but for most of you, this is relationship based. Um, you do have, um, you have gotten clear. You have gotten clear about what it is you want. You're going to use your voice. You're going to speak up for yourself. And you're going to get a new gift, a new opportunity from the universe. Um, and the energy coming through is this air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Okay? We'll get more confirmation about it. But what singles or couples, whatever you're in, if you're separated, um, you know, you do have new energy coming in. You have very positive stuff coming through. And I see that you've done a lot of work, a lot of healing. Okay, let's get some information about this love energy coming through. I'm going to start with the animal spirit oracle. Who is this person? Let's get some information about them. Okay, you got bad spirit. A rebirth is assured. Look at that. Write what I said. You've been through so much. Wow, this is a beautiful rebirth. Okay, you have Hawk Spirit. 
Let spirit be your guide. Okay, beautiful two fives. Lots of change with five, with the number five. Um, that's a five and that's a 32. That's also could be the month of May, which would be that Gemini energy um, for some of you. And life is speeding up. Good. I'm glad life is speeding up because I feel like you've been in a place of sort of contemplation and of, um, you know, kind of quiet, which is, which is all valid, especially when you're healing. That's very, very important. But I do see life changing and speeding up for you. I see someone coming through that is going to help you rise above. Um, and who is going to really get your life moving again in the right direction and help you. Okay, patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order and I know that's probably hard because of all the cards that I see here. Um, I'm imagining, of course, you're like, oh, divine you know, timing, I can't take it, but um, it is coming. And you did have the Ace of Swords, so that's faster energy. Um, I wouldn't worry about it being too long, okay? I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Yes, don't be hard on yourself. If you trusted someone and they betray you, that's not on you, that's on them, okay? Um, and you will learn your lesson. That's a Five of Cups, that's total confirmation about learning lessons and moving on. Sorry, guys, I had to um, adjust this because I knocked the camera again. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry. But you know what I wanted to say was with the um, Ace of Swords, I was really feeling for you that new energy or that new opportunity, that gift from the universe. I'm feeling spring for you. If you're watching this right when I'm posting it, which is in September, um, that is fast-moving energy. So I, I am feeling like um, that, that is that kind of springtime um, feeling. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull you one of these soul cards and this is really a message for you. Okay. Let's see what love message you need. Number three, singles and couples. This is really coming through as, um, this sort of unexpected cause we did pick, you pick the unknown card, um, and you get that ace of swords. So I feel like something's coming through. You're going to get clear. You're going to get a gift. You're going to get this clarity about your future. Um, and I think it is going to come um, by spring. I know that seems like a long ways off, but it really isn't in terms of like the big picture, which you did get that hawk. And I feel like you do have to kind of soar above. Look at soar above and look what I'm looking at. Bleep. Look at her. She's soaring above and there's that beautiful moon. Um, and it says, you go first. The universe will catch you. Oh my gosh. Can you read that, you guys? Um, that is so beautiful. What a perfect message for you. Do not be afraid. You have something wonderful coming and you're going to have to take that leap of faith and don't worry. The universe will catch you. Okay. So it's like, you can go for it. You have taken the time you've done this work. You've done this inner, you know, um, journey with the hermit card. You have the star card. You've gone through this healing. You've connected. Um, you don't know what's ahead and you did choose that unknown card, but just go for it. Like, wow, what a powerful, powerful message, you guys. Um, uh, since we just did that, I'm really feeling drawn to my cards, the Aphrodite. These are mine. Um, they are, the link is below if you'd like to purchase them. I designed them um, and they're based all on Aphrodite and her love messages. Okay, number three, what message does Aphrodite want to give you today about love? Roses. Oh, Aphrodite's flower, devotion, true love, affectionate, safety, number nine. This love is a gift. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because you got the ace. That's a gift. There's the gift from the universe right there. That's total confirmation, you guys. Um, so we also got roses. Maybe your name's Rose. Maybe someone named Rose is your grandma or someone close to you coming through. But there is a message that this gift is coming. And this is someone who's going to really be affectionate. And this is going to be a true love situation. You, you got two flowers. So please let me know if flowers are your connection and if flowers are important 
important to you. Um, you've got Stephanotis, which is this wedding flower, Aphrodite's flower. Um, it's white. It smells so beautiful. I love Stephanotis. Um, it's a traditional wedding flower. Um, wedding ceremony, marriage number 45. A wedding is coming. I really think things are going to be quite surprising with that unknown card. Um, and we just got confirmation about it. Wow, you guys, this is so beautiful. Okay, now I have my channeled messages for you. These are these are things that could help you in terms of manifesting your love and healing and attracting love that you need and deserve. Um, what messages do you want and need from your soul? Try something new. Try something new with that leap card with you go first and the universe will catch you. Oh my gosh, I love how I'm connecting here um, with your cards today. And listen. Listening is a big skill. Um, and you did get that Ace of Swords energy. So I feel like the communication, the listening, um, and also just listen for those little signs. Um, you know how sometimes you can, everyone gets messages in different ways. And I feel like for you, this message is like you'll hear it in a song. Someone will say something. You know how sometimes you hear something and then you hear it again and you're like, wait a minute, is that a coincidence or is it like synchronicity? It's never a coincidence, okay? So for you, listening. And also exercise would be really good for you as well, okay? So those are your messages from Spirit. Um, spirit about ways to connect, ways to heal, ways to bring in that love for both singles and couples. And now I'm going to roll the astro dice and see what other um, zodiac signs come through for us. Number three, we got Scorpio. It's very mysterious and very unknown. Love it. Uh, Virgo, which is really about healing. Um, and you got Leo. Oh, I felt that Leo energy. There you go, my Leos. Um, okay, guys. Now, I'm going to do a charm reading for you. So you might want to turn the volume down if it's too loud. Ooh, lots. Okay, guys. This is going to take a while. Let me see what you... First of all, I love that you guys got two moons. I love when this comes through because this is a message about you finding a partner who's really going to match you emotionally. Um, you did get that change, that seasonal change, the leaf transformation coming for you. Also letting go of something. I feel like you're releasing. Um, you do have the dream catcher, okay, which is about, um, you know, dreaming of someone, um, someone coming in your dreams, but also protection as well. Um, you do have Gemini energy coming through as well as Cancer energy. Um, in addition to the other signs we talked about, you have the tree of life about growing something. Um, you have just a penny. Um, and this is just about good luck and good fortune coming your way. Um, your name could be Penny, too. Penny could mean something. Um, you know, with the charms, use your own interpretations as well. If something jumps out at you, that's definitely a meaning for you. Um, we have, I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. Oh, definitely you're getting connections from someone from the other side coming through. Um, you have the mask but you have it the other way, meaning the person is going to be very honest and true with you. Um, we have the artist palette for those of you that are creative or artist types. We have the sea turtle, which is about going home. Um, and we have two dogs. Oh my gosh, you have two dogs and two moons. You have the poodle and this other little guy, which I don't know what kind of dog he is. Kind of looks like, I'm not sure what he is. Um, but there you go. Perfect match. Per perfect partners. And also real loyalty. Oh my I hope you enjoyed this beautiful reading today. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. 
all of those things are free and they really, really help me and my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. And my way of giving back um, is also to do a free mini reading every month. So if you subscribe, please be sure to write your love question below and I can enter you in for a chance to win. Um, this month I am doing Vicky's reading. She was last month's winner. So congratulations to her. And this month on the 24th to the 25th only, I'm opening up readings for private sessions for 24 hours. Okay, the details are on the community page and I'm doing it in honor of Libra season because I am a Libra and I'm so excited and I love Libra season. So I'm going to do that this month. So check that out if you'd like a personal reading with me. Okay, guys, sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Hey, number four, you chose the yellow heart and the fool card. So you were cho you were drawn to um, adventure, to going for it, to starting something new, to starting a journey. Um, the Fool card is really all about knowing the universe has your back and you can go for it, okay? She's just going to jump off this cliff and she's not looking and she has faith. And what I love about this card in particular are the butterflies all around her. So I feel like maybe you have a connection to butterflies or you're about to make a really big transformation in your life. Um, so let's see what comes up for you today about love. First, we're going to start with the tarot cards, and then I'm going to get information from the oracle decks, as well as some very special personal child messages for you about love, bringing love in, and connecting with love, both singles and couples, as well as um, a charm reading, too, I'm going to do today. So, let's see, number four. Oops. Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. We have the beautiful Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords under that King of Swords. And we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Magician reversed. Okay, guys, so... Um, this is really, really interesting. We are starting with the King and Queen of Swords, um, which are air sign energies, which would be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, and it's a beautiful match when the King and Queen are together. Now, with this, the King was upside down. So, um, the feeling here is that the King um, is not wasn't really in his power or there was some disconnect between um, you and this person and this feels like in the past okay um, for some of you that are single this is an, a past relationship with either a Gemini Libra or Aquarius or someone who is sort of sharp with their words maybe somebody who's um, doesn't have to be that sign but could be um, just very like matter of fact very practical um, but what I'm seeing here is that there was a little bit of discord because he wasn't upright. I think in some cases, um, a, a reverse king of swords, a badly behaved king of swords can be somebody who's a bully or who never thinks they're wrong or who is aggressive with their speech. And so I feel like there was definitely some sort of um, discord between the two of you. Um, and what I'm finding now in the present is this feeling that you're... Um, you're starting to move away from um, being dependent on that relationship or um, allowing that person to make you feel um, less than or um, shut out because I feel like there's definitely um, a disconnect, like a cutoff. Either you're not speaking if you're in a relationship or this is an ex. Um, and if you're single, it's it's an ex or somebody in the past. Um, and you focused on work instead. And I feel like you've really thrown yourself into um, into work, into like getting on your own. Maybe, maybe you lost money because of this relationship or maybe they were the person that made the money and now you're out doing it yourself um, but that's that's what it feels like um, and what I see is that 
um, for some of you, there is this call to um, something from your past, like from your childhood, either a person um, some, or going home, going to visit, something that's calling to you, something that is very like brings back memories of childhood, or maybe you're just reminiscing with friends and it's like bringing you some sort of comfort. And I just want to say with the magician reversed, you want to be careful. So it's like if somebody has come back from your past or your childhood or if you've gone home to visit and you're like, oh my God, that per person is so perfect. Um, and if you're here because you wanted to find out about that person, when the magician reverse comes up, I think, mm, no, I don't think everything is as it seems. So let's be careful about that. Okay. I just want you to be careful um, no matter whether you're single or a couple, but that energy feels like you need to be a little cautious. I'm going to get some clarification for you about that magician there, number four. Okay. So yeah, if you have had sort of um, a fire sign male energy, a Leo, Aries, or Sag that you have been called back to, like who's like a childhood friend or somebody from your past, um, I think there is there is more to the story and there's something coming um, with that tower moment between the, for this relationship. Um, and so that I would definitely give you caution about that. Um, there feels like a lot of like kind of fast talking energy that sort of sweep you off your feet comes in fast um, fire sign energy so I would be cautious about that and I would say that um, there is some new energy coming that isn't from your past that isn't a childhood fling or someone who's an ex um, and that is fire sign energy as well but that is really positive energy so okay let's just be clear um, you definitely are being called to back to home or connecting, reconnecting with somebody who may have more to the story than they're telling, okay? But what I want you to know is you also have another fire sign energy coming through, but that is much, much more positive. Okay, so singles and couples, sort that through. It's kind of complicated, but um, that's definitely the message. Now I'm going to focus on this Ace of Wands, this new fire sign energy. I want to get information about this um, relationship and this person so we can get more details for you. Okay. Okay, freedom is yours, number 33, horse spirit. This feels Sagittarius energy right off the bat. This is somebody who's really independent, somebody who loves to travel, somebody who may even be foreign, um, but they just love to do things, to go places, new adventures. Um, you also got grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. Wow, we're getting lots of messages about leap. Ooh, leap of faith. And how cool is that, that you were drawn to the fool card and you're getting a confirmation message in the oracle deck for take a leap of faith. Um, so this person, this horse spirit, this ace of wands is going to be a beautiful romantic connection for you, um, much better than the other one. So I would really focus on um, knowing that there's something really positive coming in. I would look for someone who's very independent um, and somebody who is... Um, a new energy, not a past, not somebody you know from your old hometown, none of that stuff, okay? Um, but this feels really, really good. And that person, you can definitely take a leap of faith with. Okay, let's see. Number four. Ooh, imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. This is a really, with that Ace of Wands energy right there between you um, and the imagination card, this feels like a real creative person. It feels like you guys come together because of your creativity, um, for your, like, you're just really interesting. And I love the connection because it feels like inspired. It feels like they fuel your inspiration. Maybe you're a writer, maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a dancer. Um, this is someone who is going to really help you 
take that leap, help you go for it, okay? Maybe you're thinking about making a big change. I would say keep focusing forward, don't look back, okay? That that old energy over here, that magician reversed, I'm not liking, okay? I know I keep, I don't want to harp on it, but, um, you know, I'm out to protect you guys, and that's what I'm here to bring good messages. Um, I just have to report them. Let's look at this romance with the horse spirit, because I'm loving this horse spirit right now. Isn't that funny? You've got three zero and three three, all three. So I'm also feeling this connection of three, the number three, March 3rd, um, three, the third of any month. Uh, also friends and siblings, okay, is coming through as a connection. Release your ex. Oh my gosh, you guys, the time has come to clear your energy. Hello, that magician reversed. Thank you. And deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. That's that magician. Okay, and what about this separation? Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Okay. If you guys are in a relationship with that person, I am telling you, this message will not stop coming out. Okay, I'm going to ask specifically about the new information, the new, um, excuse me, I'm going to ask, please give us information, angels, about the horse spirit, number 33. getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Good. So that's the only, that's the positive card that came out of all of those. Wow. Very positive and very strong angel reading for you today, guys. Um, let's now look at Aphrodite. These are my cards and I designed this Oracle deck, which is for sale. The link is below um, and they ship everywhere in the world. Okay. Number four, Aphrodite. Tell us about the horse spirit, the new energy coming in. Goat, Aphrodite's animal. Wise, older, reliable, determined. Number 30. <gasps> Your lover is successful, you guys. Okay, there we go. Confirmation, take the leap. This person is older. They're successful um, and very hardworking. Ooh, I love that, you guys. Okay, now, um, you know what I'm going to do first? I want to pull a soul message here from this Oracle deck. This is so beautiful. Um, this is just for you, okay? Let's just get a general message for you about love. What do you need today? Number four. transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at you. You are transforming. You're, the, you're ready to make that leap. You are having a major moment here. You are a goddess. Look at this card. That is so beautiful. So just embrace it and know that major transformation is coming um, and you're ready. Okay, you're definitely ready. That is the message. Now I'm going to pull you, these are my channeled messages for healing, for love, for manifesting. How can you bring in and attract the love that you deserve, that you need, that you want? Number four, a good deed. I've been having a lot of good deed um, thoughts lately, and that is such a positive way um, to give back to the universe, and that's also a way to attract things to you. You know, whenever we help others, we are helping ourselves. Okay, talk to someone. So maybe there's someone you need to talk to about this confusion. For those of you in a couple or those of you who are talking to someone from the past, talk to someone outside of that person and try and get clear, okay? and treat yourself. You know what? Treat yourself. Gosh, there's nothing. I, I hope that's my message because I love treating myself, but I don't. And you need to, okay? Please treat yourself, even to something small. Um, by doing that, you're showing the universe, I love me. And 
I love me a lot. And you know what? Someone will love you as much. You have to give to yourself first before you give to others. And show yourself the love that you want to give. Okay? Now, I'm going to roll the Astro Dice and see what other zodiac signs um, are important. Could be the person coming in. Any information we need for you today, number four. Ooh, Aries. Okay, there's fire sign energy. That ace of wands. Taurus. That's reliable. And Capricorn. There's older. Oh my gosh. Capricorn, Taurus. Capricorn, older, wiser, successful. Yes. And the goat. Oh my gosh, and the goat. Capricorn is the mountain goat. Okay, we got total confirmation. I'm feeling very strong um, about the Capricorn energy for you coming in. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a charm reading for you now. So turn the volume down if you don't like the noise, okay? Okay, so, ooh, I guess I'll start with my favorite, the Libra charm. There you go, Libra. Okay, so we have Libra energy coming in. Um, we have Scorpio energy over here. You have a beautiful heart, which is love, a message, two hearts together. You have the puffy heart and the other heart, okay? And you know what I feel like with this one? This one's a little flatter, that one's puffier. The age difference, an older person, okay? So it's confirmation there that came through. Okay, we have the coffee pot or teapot. Could be um, the way that you meet at a coffee shop. Um, and you have the mask, but the other way, showing someone who's very honest. They're not pretending to be someone else. Um, you have the anchor, which is about wanting to anchor to someone. Could be an anchor tattoo. You have the dove of peace. This is a peaceful relationship. Um, this is someone who's hardworking, very intricate, um, smart, detailed work. And you have live your dream. I love that message, you guys. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed doing this reading for you today. So many beautiful messages about um, this love coming in for both singles and couples. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, and click the notification bell. All of those things help so much, and they are free. Once you do subscribe, don't forget to write your love question below. I enter you into a free giveaway for one, one mini reading every month. Okay, guys, and for a very special reason, it's Libra season. Here's my Libra charm. Um, I am opening up personal readings just for 24 hours. I'm going to accept appointments for um, private readings. So all the information about that will be in the community tab. If you're interested, be sure to follow the directions exactly. I want to be fair to everyone, but I also can only accept a limited number. Okay, guys. Well, happy, happy Libra season coming up. I'm sending you so much love, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.